Ballerina Monica Lochran was the last Irish student to graduate from the world famous Perm School of Ballet in Russia back in 1994. Now, 22 years later, Monica's own proteges have succeeded in making the grade and are off to Russia to follow in her footsteps. She joins us now. Ladies and gentlemen, Monica Lochran. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. Good evening, Monica. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so obviously a lot of people will be familiar with you and your ballet dancing ways, but not with Perm and that school. So, what is it and why is it so important? Okay, so Perm is a large, quite a large town actually, it's in the base of the Ural Mountains. It's where the Mariinsky left during the World War and they set up a ballet school and their ballet company in that particular place. It's an industrial area, it's not particularly pretty, but it has an amazing theatre, it has the third largest theatre in Russia. Okay, and is the, 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 the nature of the schooling and the education for ballerinas, is it hard ass like is it is it tough or is it beautiful it is, and serene no it's really really tough there's a lot of discipline there's a lot of focus i mean they're going to work six to eight hour days they're working six days a week currently they're working seven days a week really in ireland so they're to well prepared they're working five days a week with me but remember they're working the weekend with me yes. and they're in school so these children have been through the mill I think they're looking forward to going to Russia to have it like slightly easier. To get easier. away from you. To get away from myself. What does it take to, to, to qualify to get into the perm world? Um, oh, obviously. Well, yes, of course. Well, I mean, they're, they're very talented and very driven individuals. Yeah. And we've been working hard for two years. And when I went to perm, I was in a class with other Irish students. And they won't. They will go directly into the class with other Russian students and be competing for jobs and for work in Russia. So hopefully we don't see them again because they'll stay over there to work. That's that's the dream. And we have we have a boy hopefully uh, auditioning for the Veganova in St. Petersburg, which is it's a massive honour and it's a thrill for me personally. Okay, and will they have to get used to a life of like putting phones down and all the distractions? Yeah. I mean, do they have to eat, drink, sleep, balance? Yes, and, and just like any other art form or any other athletic pursuit. They're going to have to be really focused, and we should be very proud of them. They're lovely, lovely young people. I've met them, and they are. And it's funny to turn the the outbreak that the, the band plays some tunes. They were dancing to very different type of music, <laughs> but we're going to see them doing very different dancing yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, you've got three girls and a boy, is that yes. right? And they're all are they junior search all of them. Yes, they're all doing the junior search this year. So. How's that working in terms of the great juggle of all time? Yes, and they just have to do it. Really? It's just life. We all have to do it. You know, they're starting young, and again, it gives them focus and discipline, and they're going to need it going forward. All right, and the opportunity careers-wise, what what are we talking about? Opportunities for these for these guys? And um, I think you know, once they get through the school, so two or three years in the school, they could go anywhere. They could end up in Boston. They could go to New York, hopefully. Or they could stay in, in Russia, they could go to St. Petersburg and perform in the Mariinsky. These are dreams, and it's very much, I've done my job now, it's very much up to them and it's in their hands. So when you watch them, are you the tough, mean-hearted <laughs> teacher, or are you the proud mammy? I'm the first one. Yeah, I thought you might. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's but I'm that. very supportive, and I'm very proud of them. Well, congratulations on your endeavours, and we're going to Thank see you. the four now, isn't that right? Yes, so indeed. let's see them in action. We do all, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Megan Mullen, we have Alana Bors, and we have Victoria Young. Uh, joined tonight by Anthony White, and here they are doing what they do best.
Nice job, lovely job. Okay. I'm good luck.